A pictograph uses symbols or pictures to represent values. Each picture has some value. For example, let's say you want to graph the amount of snowfall during each month of the winter using a pictograph. Different months have different amounts of snowfall. We could use the picture of a snowflake to show some amount of snowfall. So I've drawn this example on the board behind me of a pictograph of the amount of snowfall over th the three winter months of December, January, and February. We are going to use one snowflake to represent six inches of snow. So every time we see a snowflake in our graph, we know that that equals six inches of snow. Using a snowflake to represent these six inches of snow, we can graph snowfall using a certain number of snowflakes for each month. So, as you can see, in December, we have two snowflakes. And since we know that each snowflake is equal to six inches of snowfall, we would know that we have six plus six, or 12 inches of snowfall for December. In January, we have one, two, three, four snowflakes. And each snowflake equals six inches of snow. And so six times four is 24. And we can see from our pictograph of snowfall that in January, 24 inches of snow fell. And for February, we only have one snowflake. And that tells us that just six inches of snow fell in February. Sometimes a pictograph can have more than one symbol and express values for more than one thing. For example, a farm can keep track of apples and bananas sold on the same graph. So if we have a graph like this for a farm keeping track of the amount of fruit sold, we can see as we look at this graph that they have both apples and bananas on the same graph. We have the months of June, July, and August, and then we have our key here to tell us how much, what value each symbol is worth. So for every apple I see in my graph, that's equal to 100 pounds of apples sold. For every banana that I see on my graph, that's equal to 100 pounds of bananas sold. And so looking at the graph, we can tell that in June, 200 pounds of apples were sold and 100 pounds of bananas. In July, 100 pounds of apples were sold and one, two, 300 pounds of bananas were sold. And in August, since we have three apples, and each apple's worth 100 pounds, we can see that in August we had 300 pounds of apples sold, and with the two bananas, at 100 pounds each banana, we can see that the August sale of bananas is 200 pounds. Let's look at an example of answering a question using the information given to us in a pictograph. So we have a pictograph here that tells us from the title that this is Sammy's Summer Reading. And the first thing we want to look at is our key. And we can see in our key that one book symbol, this is a little picture of a book, one book symbol equals two books. So two books read by Sammy in the summer. So let's look at each month. We can see that in June, we have one book symbol. In July, two book symbols. And in August, three book symbols. 
So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six book symbols. And using the key here at the bottom, we know that each book symbol equals two books. So our question asks us, how many books did Sammy read in his summer reading? And so since we've counted up our book symbols as one, two, three, four, five, six, and we know that each book symbol equals two books read by Sammy over the summer, we can see that our answer then is going to be a total of 12 books read by Sammy over the summer reading.